Hello everyone. Good evening. Welcome to today's session. How is everyone? I hope everyone's doing well. Good evening, guys. Welcome to today's session. कैसे हो आप सब? Okay. I hope everyone's doing great. It's good to see all of you join in. I hope the audio video is clear. Yes. Okay. Right. Let's get started today, guys. So, हमें ये जो CMAT target CMAT 2023 series है uh for language comprehension we started it yesterday okay and this is the third class of the series third class kaise kal ek youtube pe class hui thi aaj subah special pe class hui thi aur abhi wapas i'm continuing on youtube so youtube and special for this particular series will work in tandem so i want all of you to attend the youtube session at 7 pm and the special class morning 11 am Okay, welcome to the session, guys. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, guys. Hi, Krishna, Muhammad, Shri, Sandesh, Rajin, uh, Khudida, Shank, Vyas, Aditya, Rahul, Anuj, Dark Light. Yes. Good evening. Hello, guys. Welcome to the session. Okay, कैसे गया, guys? आपका आज का दिन was it productive? How was your day today? If you had to describe your day today in one word, what would that word be? Hello, good evening. Good evening, guys. Hi, everyone. It was productive, wonderful. Okay, great. So shall we get started? I have a whole lot of mixed exercises for all of you. So guys, just a quick recap of what we have discussed so far. Uh, we discussed in the last session on YouTube कि आपको vocabulary made easy go through करना है, grammar made easy go through करना है, sessions को daily attend करना है. We did a short diagnostic quiz. In today morning session, we started off with verbs and tenses. Okay, so we completed verbs, we did types of verbs, we did tenses. Right. तो उसको थोड़ा सा continue करेंगे. So in today's class, what have I planned for today's class? In today's class, guys, let me just show you a, a glimpse of what we've planned. But before that, I want everyone to join. If you've not already joined yet, then I want all of you to join the Telegram channel, Unacademy underscore Ritu Ritoria, without fail. For all the links, updates, notes, okay, please make sure that all of you join it. Good evening. Welcome to the session. A uh, important reminder, guys. This very it is a great offer. Now, those of you who are targeting CAT 2023 and targeting CAT 2024, a uh, great offer for all of you guys because if you are taking both plans, you are getting one month free. Months free mil rahe. For example, if you take the nine month subscription, you get three months free. Eighteen month subscription, you get six months free. Mil rahe. And at the same time, the price has also been slashed. Okay, but you have to hurry because this is a limited time offer. Okay, and do not forget to apply the code Ritu MBA. Okay, guys, without fail, my name or our goal. Tenses, Regin, uh, we did it in the special class today at 11 a.m. Uska continuation, we will do it now. Okay, so first of all, I will tell you what is our plan today. Hopefully, we will be able to cover it off. And if not, we will definitely spill it over. I have already shared it, Nikhil. In group, I have already shared the root words PDF. I've shared it, Shashwat. Yesterday, कल रात को ही मैंने share कर दिया था. Okay. Now, if you want, I'll share it. I'll re-share it again. Okay. So, guys, today we're going to discuss subject verb agreement. इसके जो 11 rules हैं, वो मैं आपको सिखाऊंगी. This is very important, guys. Okay. Subject verb agreement is very important. No problem, Prem. You can re, you can watch the lecture. Okay. वो recording रहती है. तो if you missed it, you can watch it again. It's already on the group, Amisha. The links, guys, all the links to all my sessions, I posted on the group. So, subay मैंने special class का link post कर दिया था. Now you can click on the link and watch it. Hi Nikhil. So we're going to discuss subject verb agreement. Then we're going to discuss conditional sentences. ये दोनों discuss करने के बाद क्या होगा? हमारा tenses, verbs and tenses का chapter close हो जाएगा. Active passive voice remain करता है, which we will discuss in tomorrow's class. Okay. अच्छा, then I will I will repost it, Rishab. So subject verb agreement के 11 rules. Conditional sentences, four types of conditional sentences are that we will cover today. After that, we will discuss questions. Okay, I have planned some questions around verbs and tenses for all of you. 
then we'll do a short idioms ka quiz because you can never get enough of idioms right it's an important area so we'll discuss idioms and if time permits we will take up homonyms and homophones okay but uh, don't worry kuch bhi chhoot jata hai it will be covered in the next class okay so guys let's start off first with today's theory that is subject verb agreement and conditional sentence just as a reminder to everyone tenses i've covered in the morning in today morning 11 am session on special class i've covered it okay kal ka hamara plan kya hai 11 am ka tomorrow i will discuss active passive voice and direct and indirect speech with all of you okay right now let's continue now let's start off with subject verb agreement okay first guys now what is subject verb agreement subject verb agreement there are 11 important rules in subject verb agreement it's a very important area but bahut hi simple area hai but uh, iske jo especially teen rules hai wo bahut zyada important hai theek hai so guys anyway i am not going to shortcut matlab kuch discount nahi karenge 11 rules se sare 11 rules main aapko yahan pe karwaungi to rule with examples revision okay let's get started are, are all of you ready to begin with today's session subject verb agreement shall we get started yes okay come on let's get started Okay. Yes, wonderful. Okay, see guys, the basic rule of subject verb agreement is the verb should agree with the subject. So, अगर हाँ, yes, Mohit. So, अभी आप लोग सिर्फ सुनो बैठकर ये PDF में ग्रुप पे डाल दूँगी. अभी आप लोग सिर्फ सुनो, ठीक है? Right. Subject verb agreement. The verb should agree with the subject. So, the basic rule or the golden rule is if the subject is singular, the verb is also singular. If the subject is plural, obviously the verb will also be plural. ये तो basic सा rule है, correct? So दो rule हमारे ऐसे ही हो गए. For example, if the subject is singular, I, she, he, Tom, तो verb भी singular होगा. I am listening. She is listening. He has my number. Tom dines at 9 p.m. every day. Dines, dines. ये नहीं कि s लगा दिया तो plural हो गया. No. Dines is singular. Tom dines at 9 p.m. every day. The officers. If it's plural, hai, to dine. He walks to school. They walk to school. We are listening. Rose and Penny are leaving. They have my number. Okay, so these are the basic rules. Hai. If it's a singular subject, it takes a singular verb, and if it's a plural subject, it takes a plural verb. Now, if you are using the conjunction and. रोज एंड पेनी कितने लोग हुए दो लोग ओके यस यस जयनाम द मॉर्निंग क्लास फ्री लाइव स्पेशल क्लास इज ऑन दी एप इलेवन एम को यहाँ पे दो लोग हो गए रोज एंड पेनी सो वी यूज प्लूरल वर्क हैव अटेंडेड द सीईओ द एम डी दो लोग हो गए सो यू विल से आर प्रेजेंट करेक्ट बेसिक सी चीज है बट आई जस्ट वॉन्ट यू टू ऑब्जर्व दिस सेम चीज है यहाँ पे भी सीओ यहाँ पे भी सीओ यहाँ पे भी एमडी है यहाँ पे भी एमडी है देन व्हाई डू वी से यहाँ पे व्हाई इज इट आर प्रेजेंट बट हियर इट इज इज प्रेजेंट कैन यू टेल मी द रीजन फॉर दिस कम ऑन एवरीवन रैक योर ब्रेन्स कैन यू टेल मी द रीजन बिहाइंड दिस इट्स बेसिक ये हम लोग कई बार डिस्कस भी कर चुके हैं Yeah, because Rishab I always takes the uh, the plural verb. वो एक exception है. I have his book. I dine at this restaurant every night. तो I वाला एक exception है. Okay, now the reason behind this is यहाँ पे the CEO, the MD, the the two different titles, two different positions, two different people. But here the CEO and MD. This is one the. That means this is one title. That means this is one person who is occupying both the positions. So here we do and used here, but we are talking about one entity. So that is why you will say is present. Wonderful. Similarly, bread and butter. Two things are. 
but you eat it together it is one dish so you will say is my favorite breakfast the horse and carriage do alag alag cheeze hain but it makes one unit it makes one vehicle the horse and the carriage are tied they are tethered or you know the, the, it comes together so this is one unit jaise chole and bhature pav and bhaji uh, dal and rice okay so all of this refers to one unit and that is why you treat it as singular clear everyone so the exception is always more important than the rule okay let's go to the next one perfect very good great sentence shiva okay next one when two subjects two or more subjects are connected by or rose penny or kate matlab teeno to nahi teeno mein se koi ek so is present or gives us a choice Ha ah, nice mohit everyone put your favorite dishes along okay next one uncountable nouns okay now guys a question for all of you money uncountable kaise hai money uncountable kaise hai you you can count na we count well we paying someone also we count and pay so money maine uncount why have i written why have i slotted it under the category of an uncountable noun can you tell me the reason why is money uncountable okay see guys you have to focus on the word the word money is uncountable very good sandesh you can't say one money two money three money na very good jishnu rupee is countable 1 rupee 2 rupees 3 rupees coins are countable very good chandni the word money is uncountable okay so here our focus is on the word okay so water you can't say one water two waters three waters you can't say one money two money three money the word money is uncountable uncountable nouns are always treated as singular water is precious money does not buy happiness happiness is important okay so uncountable nouns will take a singular verb but if i say two glasses of water if i say two glasses of water then you will say r because here the focus is not on water anymore the focus is on this countable unit glasses okay wonderful genetics you can never be sure uh, 16 bol rahe hain but there is a chance of extension okay next one again very important guys especially the exception here collective noun collective noun means what group for example school of fish parliament of owls murder of crows okay chest of drawers hello grace chest of drawers okay then you can say a herd of elephants and so on and so forth okay these are a bouquet of flowers a posy of flowers okay a lock of hair so all of these are basically uncountable nouns wonderful very good rajesh sorry all of these are collective nouns sorry collective nouns they refer to one group so when you say a school of fish even though there might be plenty of fish but still you're referring to one school you're referring to it as one collection or one group and that is why you treat it as singular the jury is discussing the case a uh, hair if you're just using the word hair aditi it's uncountable but the countable unit for it would be strand so strands of hair one strand two strands three strands okay ha so no din now when you say school parliament murder chest herd whatever family of people jury of judges panel of judges they all collective nouns bhale is jury mein sath member hai okay but you are not referring to the individual judges you are referring to the jury the group to ek group hai to usko singular hi treat karoge got it you treat it according to 
the collection it's one collection it's one group this family jury refers to a group of judges now this family can have nine members but when you're talking about the word family you're treating it as one collection one unit so family dines at one family one collective unit so you will treat it as singular clear hi pallavi good evening not necessarily rishab yeah here you treat it as single entity but posi are neha hello how are you posi of flowers chest of drawers okay yeah i'll come to the exception now look at the exception here same word maine use kiya hai taaki aapko clear ho jaye to yahan pe jury hai now the why are we using r here yahan pe r q aaya hai plural verb q aaya hai because of the word divided the jury are divided in their verdict divided matlab the collective noun is no longer collective it's no longer together no rahul the jury are divided in their verdict jury divide ho gayi hai means everybody has a different opinion so now they are no longer functioning they don't even function as a collective noun they don't fulfill the con condition to, to be a collective noun you need to be collective but it's not collective anymore it's divided so that is why you start using plural references split ho gaya na to ek se do ho gaye collective nahi raha so that is why the team are split into two groups clear did all of you understand this clear guys as long as the collective noun is together as long as the collective noun functions as one unit you use a singular verb once it's divided or split up or it's fighting or anything which indicates that it's no longer together have been aayega shashank you have to use plural reference ah uh, shubham do worry i'm going to start with a batch soon enough uh, start with a course soon enough i will tell you okay shashank has been aayega has been aayega you have to use a plural reference okay so this is an important rule the exception is important i hope everyone's clear with this okay distributive pronouns guys i don't know how many of you remember our pronouns classes but i'm sure most of you don't so that is why i'll just list down the list of distributive pronouns so it's easier for you each every every one every body some one some body okay Similarly, anyone, anybody. Very rare snake. Huh? Parliament. Here, pe Parliament of owls. Hai. Parliament. Ref, parliament is a collective noun for owls. So the you will treat it as singular if it's functioning as a collective noun. Yes, Prakriti. People, police, public, and cattle. These will be plural. Police will always be plural. The police are on its way. Okay, either and neither. Now, ये words देखोगे तो ही आपको समझ में आएगा. हाँ, the focus is on one, every single individual. The focus is on every single body. Each child, so you will treat it as singular. Is special. Someone is knocking on the door. Neither of the sisters, मतलब कोई भी नहीं, is coming. Okay, now I have a question for you. someone left dash luggage at the airport can you tell me what would you use here which pronoun would you fill here his hers theirs what come on it's a type of pronoun pavan pronouns basically mean you're referring to uh, instead of using the noun or the name you're using प्रोनाउन यूज करते हो डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिव प्रोनाउन इज अ टाइप ऑफ प्रोनाउन वेद द फोकस इज ऑन वन और एवरी सिंगल इंडिविजुअल और बॉडी 
no 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 that's wrong you will always say police are coming police has to be treated as plural police are on their way okay now because of you someone dash left luggage at the airport those of you who have said their luggage it's wrong because someone you have to treat it as singular so but you do not know the gender the best way to say someone left his or her luggage at the airport but in english if the gender is not specified you also use the masculine gender it's a little discriminatory but okay uh, you can use this but preferable method would be this it's wrong ranjan it has to be are elected because there the focus your noun is members members plural here correct jena okay clear guys yeah either you say his or her you say his right next one ab shuru hota hai guys thoda sa suno yahan pe just see this many 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 plural doctors are attending the conference okay uh i'll come to the uh i'll take jishnu's question first and then i'll take prakriti's question jishnu when you using one then you say ones for example one should respect ones elders to so one aayega to hi ab one ka form use karna okay got it everyone clear till here okay right now to answer prakriti's question uh, in that case you will use a singular uh, verb clergy ke sath singular aayega हमेशा वन नहीं आता है वन का फॉर्म आता है फॉर एग्जाम्पल वन शुड टेक केयर ऑफ वन सेल्फ तो वन का फॉर्म आएगा लाइक ही शुड टेक केयर ऑफ हिम सेल्फ शी शुड टेक केयर ऑफ हर सेल्फ वन शुड टेक केयर ऑफ वन सेल्फ गौरव वंस द सी मैट कोर्स इज डन आई विल स्टार्ट ऑफ विथ कैट Uh, but uh, on plus i'm starting it off this month matlab immediately in, in a week's time okay right next one when you use many doctors are attending the conference many plural doctors plural are attending the conference plural many a uh, the minute yahan pe a uh, aayega singular many a uh, doctor is attending the conference the meaning of the two is exactly the same this is just a fancier way of saying it we don't generally use it you would find uh, a reference to this mainly in literature for example you can say many times i have told you to come uh, early you can say many a time you've been told to come early the meaning is the same god if you can connect with me on my telegram channel anacademy underscore my name ritu dudhoria An anacademy underscore ritu dudhoria okay please go through this guys it's a very important rule rule number 10 11 and 12 are very important ek bar go through karo and then i will explain come on guys i hope everything is everyone's able to follow at the same time please remember to attend the sessions regularly because if you miss out what go flow to jayega kal 11 baje special class hai i will post the link without fail attend it ha you can reach out on the telegram channel 
वोकेबुलरी मेड इजी मेरा एक प्ले लिस्ट है ऑन यूट्यूब वॉच द लेटेस्ट वर्जन ऑफ दैट प्ले लिस्ट आई हैव पोस्टेड द लिंक ऑन द टेलीग्राम चैनल You will have to use my code, Jena. They will ask you for a code. You can use the code Ritu MBA. Thank you, Jishnu. Yes, Devanshi. Okay. Right. Shall we discuss this link? Uh, sh shall we discuss this uh, rule? Okay. Now, in case of subject-verb agreement. Okay, when two or more subjects are connected by these conjunctions, as well as along with, with, together with, accompanied by. Now I'll explain. यहाँ पे rule of proximity नहीं आएगा. यहाँ पे near वाला point नहीं आएगा. वो next वाले rule में आएगा. यहाँ पे आप बस याद रखना. When you use these conjunctions, मतलब the king, the first subject important वाला होगा. Others तो बस as well as है. Others to be tag along here. Thank you, Snika. So the king, as well as the ministers, king is important. So who important subject he? The important subject decides the verb. So the king, as well as the ministers, was present in the court. The captain, captain important, important. You can say on the basis of either rank or seniority. So the captain, as well as other team members, is present in the conference. Why? Captain is singular. It's the important subject. It's the first subject, and that decides the verb. So, as we have just here, I'll tell you, as well as along with means the rest of them are just tag along. So they are not important. The first subject is important, and the first subject will decide the verb. If the first subject is singular, the verb will be singular. If the first subject is plural. The verb will be plural. Clear? Did all of you understand this? Okay. Next one. Now, what uh, Rahul was referring to as the proximity nearness wala rule is. ये वो यहाँ पे आएगा. When you use the conjunctions neither nor, either or, सिर्फ either नहीं, सिर्फ neither नहीं, neither nor. No, बल्लवी. Really, अगर first subject plural होता, suppose kings होता, तो आप verb बोलते. जो जैसा भी फर्स्ट सब्जेक्ट है अगर फर्स्ट सब्जेक्ट सिंगुलर है तो वर्ब सिंगुलर फर्स्ट सब्जेक्ट प्लूरल है तो वर्ब भी प्लूरल ओके वो रूल ऑफ प्रॉक्सिमिटी जो है दैट कम्स हियर नाइदर नॉर आइदर और हियर द सिंगुलर सब्जेक्ट कम्स फर्स्ट अब दोनों सिंगुलर है तो यू कैन यूज एनी ऑर्डर ऐसे नहीं नथिंग लाइक इंपॉर्टेंट एंड वो नथिंग लाइक इंपॉर्टेंट No, is he aega? It will be is uh, demon. Okay, if it was captains, then you would have said are. Otherwise, you will use is. Only with these conjunctions. If it was and, you could have used are. Okay. Now, if both are singular, you can put it in any order. If both are plural, you can put it in any order. But if one subject is singular and the other one is plural, the singular subject comes first. Does not matter if that's the important one or not. The singular subject comes first. But it is the second subject which decides the verb. Second subject, if it is plural, verb will be plural. But Prakriti, my question here is, ma'am, your sentence is right, but how do you decide who is important? And are in the passengers in the boat? If it was minister, you couldn't say was present. Member, you can say was present. So when one subject is singular, one is plural. In case of either or, neither nor, the singular subject comes first, but it's the second subject. 
which decides the verb. Clear? Did all of you understand this? Ek baar go through karo. I'll tell you a trick on how to remember this. Last rule. Not only but also. Yahan pe subjects can be arranged in any order. Jisko pehle lagana hai lagao. But second subject will decide the verb. Okay. For example, not only the king, but also the ministers. Aise lagana hai, aise laga. Or not only, I'll repeat Prasenji. Not only the ministers, but also the king. You can put the subject in any order. But the second subject decides the verb. Were present, ministers plural hai. King hua to was present. Okay, now I'll repeat this again. These three rules, just listen to me. Whenever you use the following conjunctions, as well as along with, with, together with, Always remember that the important subject comes first. So, yehi important wala hi verb decide karega. So, king is important, captain is important, the rank is higher. You will put it first. King is singular, so was present. Captain is singular, so is present. When the subjects are connected by either or, neither nor, Always singular subject comes first. Matlab, if there's a choice between singular and plural, put the singular one first. Agar ek singular hai, ek plural hai, to put the singular one first. If both were singular, it doesn't matter. You can put it in any order. If both were plural, doesn't matter. You can put it in any order. But it's the second subject that decides the verb. A trick to remember this is neither nor. Kitne part says conjunction ke do. Either or, kitne part says conjunction ke do. Not only but also, kitne part says conjunction ke do. It comes in two different parts, right? So, do part conjunction mein second subject decides the verb. This is not the logic behind it, it's just a mnemonic to remember it. Okay, clear guys? Did all of you understand this? Yes? Clear everyone? Yes. Okay. So guys, uh, I thought of taking up conditional sentences. But what will happen is there will be too much of information overload. So we'll take up a light exercise first. And then if uh, time permits, we'll go to that. But before that, let me remind you, there are two important CAT batches uh, which are starting this month. One is the perfect score batch for CAT 2023 and the other one is the March to success batch for CAT 2023. Uh, April 13th, this is already started on March 30th. Please make sure guys, those who are serious about CAT, it's high time that you uh, took the subscription and you started with your preparation because we don't want to make any mistakes this time. So I want everyone to apply the code Ritu MBA and join. Conditional sentences we'll take up tomorrow. But before that, let's do a short exercise on idioms. There are about 38 to 40 questions here. Let's start. Okay. Quickly. 30 seconds for each question. Come on, guys. A short idiom quiz. Come on. First one. His behavior compelled me to give him a piece of my mind. No, Rahul. Paad bhaje khatam hota hai. His behavior compelled me to give him a piece of my mind. What do you mean by piece of your mind? Look at the words also. Compelled me. Matlab aapko majboor kar diya. It forced you to give him a piece of my mind. Good evening abhe. A. Very good. To scold him. To tell him what you were thinking and in harsh words or in sharp words. Pardon is forgive. Take him into confidence is also matlab, kisi ko apna secret batana ya kisi ko, you know, to share uh, something confidential with someone. 
in black and white. I don't want it to be said orally. I want it in black and white. Yes, yes, Sakshi, of course. Dan Vishesh. We'll do it tomorrow in the special class once and then after that I'll post it on the group. In black and white in writing. White paper, black ink. I want it in writing. Okay. Next one. We, I uh, referred to this yesterday. He, the manager hesitated to assign the job to the newcomer. Focus on, there's always a clue in the words. The manager hesitated to assign the job to the newcomer as he was wet behind the ears. You say, na, I think in uh, Hindi, you say, kaan ka kacha. Which one? The manager hesitated to assign the job because newcomer, from newcomer itself, you can know someone who is young and inexperienced. Okay, wonderful. Next one. If you want to solve the problem, you must take the bull by the horns. Oh, wonderful, Jishnu. Amateur, novice, rookie, new, noob, dilettante, debutante. Okay, if you want to solve the problem, you must take the bull by the horns. Focus on this. Analyze this idiom. Taking the bull by the horns. If you're taking it by the horns, you're definitely not running away. You're not literally pulling the bull's horns. Face a difficulty or danger. Now see, it's very close here. Confidently or boldly. This is the difference here, right? Confidently or boldly. Guys, taking it by the horns, isn't it a little risky? So bold would be a better usage. Bold would be a better usage. You agree with this? The rest of it is same. But you know what, I'll, okay, you know what, I'll, we'll just ignore this. I'll give it to you. Even it can be confident. So we'll just consider that there's an error with this question. I would go with both A and C. It's the same. You cannot really choose. Okay, next one. To beat the air. To beat the air. practice but uh, I will post a list on the group it has about 600 idioms you can go through that no it can be uh, Hemant that's why I agree it's either A or C to beat the air hawa mein teer chalana useless vain or futile attempts उससे कुछ हासिल नहीं होने वाला है। No, you're beating the air. What are you going to get out of it? Answer is D. To make efforts that are useless or vain. I told the students to buckle down this semester. Pull up your socks. Buckle down. Wonderful. Work seriously. Okay, clear till here. Next one. Come on guys, no points for guessing this. A hard nut to crack. Hard. A hard nut to crack. A. A, nay, expensive, difficult, hard nut. A difficult problem. A cry in wilderness it could be not necessarily rone wala a cry a, it could be also a cry for help a 
a cry in wilderness it could be a cry for help it could be a cry as in a panic you know you're raising an alarm ki suno kuch galat ho raha hai but wilderness you're raising an alarm but in wilderness kaun sunega aapko nobody is paying attention koi sunne wala nahi hai a cry in vain answer option is a got it did all of you understand this wilderness matlab jaise jungle ped paudhe the wild a neglected area okay next one a cry in vain disgrace matlab shame correct jishnu burning the midnight oil working hard okay next one see through vain matlab useless koi matlab nahi hai futile or useless that vain ka actually do matlab hai uh, one meaning of vain is if you're a vain person you're uh, too proud of yourself iska opposite kya hoga modest ya humble aur ek aur matlab if all your efforts went in vain useless futile so do matlab hai okay see through let's say someone's being really sweet to you aur aapko makhan laga rahe hain same thing prasenjit uh, to be prepared to be armed someone's like being really uh, you know bahut sweet 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 ban raha hai but then you say you know i can see through uh, what he's trying to do i maybe he wants a favor and that's why he's just being good to you ab you can see through someone you can find out what their real intention is answer option is d got it did all of you understand this 10 at a loss i am at a loss to understand what you are trying to say i am at a loss to understand i am unable to understand i am at a loss to understand i am unable to understand okay next one hand and glove it can be both it can be hand in glove it can also be hand and glove the police and the robbers were hand in glove dono mile hue the very intimate they are very close they are working closely hand in glove or hand and glove working closely people are always critical one needs to have a thick skin The idiom over here is thick skin. आपको thick skinned बनना पड़ेगा to cope with the criticism. You can't be a good old softy. You need to have a thick skin. Options are a bit close. they keep criticizing but you need to develop a thick skin now what is the meaning of thick skin matlab things don't seep in that means aapko bura nahi lagta hai they don't get to you no it means to be unaffected if you have a thick skin matlab you have a barrier and things don't really get to you or things don't really affect you so be unaffected it's not that you being yeah kind of it's sort of it's sort of way you're resisting their attempts or their criticism so it means to be unaffected one needs to have a thick skin clear not insensitive insensitive could be negative ho jayega it's not like you have to be insensitive and give back to them or be rude it's just that you don't get affected by what they are saying okay next one for all his alleged involvement in the espionage espionage basically means spy kar rahe ho aap 
D. No, insensitive will again become like you are being insensitive or rude. Insensitive takes a negative connotation. Here we just need to say be neutral. Don't get affected by it. So that's why the better answer option over here is C. Okay. For his alleged involvement in the espionage or in the spying, uh, he is under a cloud these days. Aapke upar badal mandra rahe hai. And because he was involved in an illegal activity. So also decode the sentence. Involvement in espionage is under suspicion. Wonderful. He spoke well, though it was his maiden speech. Don't you say maiden? Under observation. It's close. I would definitely say close. But the exact meaning is suspicion. That might lead to him being under observation, but that's not the direct meaning. Maiden suspicion matlab doubt chal raha is pe. Okay, maiden first. Okay, next one. A close shave. You had a close shave with, uh, let's say, an accident ho raha tha and you had a close shave with death. Matlab, the baal baal bache hua. A close shave. You're not really shaving. It's not literal shave. Yape. A very narrow escape. You remember yesterday we did. By the skin of your teeth. It's the bal bal. A close fisted person. Analyze karo. Close fisted. No, a close fisted person is someone who is a penny pincher. Ne, clouds matlab aapko, aapke upar, you know, there's a grey cloud or there's no suspicion. Close fisted matlab, guys, you can't spend money, aap se kharcha nahi hota hai. You are conjus. You are a penny pincher. You are a miser. Someone who cannot spend. Aapke haath se paise nahi kharte. Next one. Goods will be delivered if you pay on the nail. No, no. Close fisted means you're a penny pincher. Miser or conjuso. Goods will be delivered if you pay on the nail. Suspicion, doubt. Suspicion means doubt. Pay on the nail. Pay in cash. Yeah, this actually comes from like a tradition which used to happen in Liverpool and all of that. But okay, pay on the nail means pay in cash. Okay, next one. When he left, he was extremely disappointed. I think he's gone for good. Gone for good. My phone is lost for good. For good basically means Hamesha Kili. Permanently. It's 
गॉन फॉर गुड मतलब जा चुका है अब वापस नहीं आएगा विच सी टी आर यू टॉकिंग अबाउट महाराष्ट्र सी टी पी जी सी टी विच स्टेट का फिर टॉकिंग अबाउट महाराष्ट्र सी टी देन यस आई नो जिश्नु आई अग्री विथ यू Uh, but if you have to choose between one, if you look at it like the etymology of this, मतलब ये कहाँ से निकला है? Then this was a tradition which used to happen in you know uh, England में था, where if you pay on the nail, basically means you paid there in cash. So the main reference over here is cash. If you go by the etymology. But uh, nonetheless, I will definitely check back and tell you. But as far as I uh, know, it it has to be cash. That's the primary meaning because I'm just going by the etymology. Not yet announced, Mohit. In about two weeks' time, we can expect. Okay, Sakshi, it's over time. You know that I read a lot, but okay. Next question. Yes, yes, Rahul. In his salad days, he was quite a dandy. Dandy means someone who is very handsome and who pays a lot of attention to his looks and his appearance. In his salad days, आप एक seven course meal लेते हो, तो उसमें first course क्या आता है? Salad, appetite, salad appetizer, raisin. So salad days मतलब आपका youth हो गया. So which one? This is a Shakespeare in idiom. Okay, Shakespeare had come up with this. Basically, our youth. So closer to youth is adolescence. This is from Antony and Cleopatra, and uh, this is a phrase which Cleopatra had used. Okay, school थोड़ा बचपन हो जाता है. This is more of youth, so adolescence is closer. His work seems to be a Penelope's web. ये सब थोड़े mythological idioms हैं. Web. Focus on the word web. Never ending, endless, very good, wonderful. Penelope's web, endless. Okay, next one. To feather one's nest. To feather one's nest. For example, if you're the uh, manager of a company, but instead of you know uh, doling out or paying. Bonuses etc to your shareholders, you're feathering your own nest. आप अपना खुद का घर comfortable कर रहे हो। आप खुद को benefit कर रहे हो। आप दूसरों का नहीं सोच रहे हो। You're enriching yourself. जब भी opportunity आती है, feathering your own nest. You're enriching yourself. Now literally क्या आप घर बना रहे हो अपना? No. It could just be making your own life a lot more comfortable. You're pocketing all the benefits. जब भी टाइम मिलता है द बॉय वॉज इन डच द बॉय वॉज इन ट्रबल डच का एक और रेफरेंस होता है लेट्स इफ यूर इफ अ ग्रुप ऑफ फाइव फ्रेंड्स आर गोइंग आउट फॉर लंच और डिनर एंड यू डच बेसिकली यू स्प्लिट द बिल एंड एवरीबडी यू नो पेज हिज अ हर शेयर इन डच इन ट्रबल Okay, let's take up three more idioms, guys, and then we'll stop for today. If you're in a tight spot because of the word tight, you're in a difficult position. The two brothers are like chalk and cheese. 
they are like chalk and cheese they are very different from each other dono mein koi similarity nahi hai okay we'll continue with this in the next class guys let's uh, stop here it's 8 already aapke aur bhi classes honge so i will not extend further uh, let me remind all of you that guys you have to uh, if you're focusing on cat 2023 2024 मैथ्स आपको डेफिनेटली सब्सक्रिप्शन लेना चाहिए टेक द प्लस सब्सक्रिप्शन और द आइकॉनिक सब्सक्रिप्शन व्हेन यू टेक द आइकॉनिक सब्सक्रिप्शन यू गेट एडिशनल बेनिफिट्स लाइक कोचिंग मेंटरशिप फिजिकल बुक्स जीडीपी और वैट का सब्सक्रिप्शन भी मिलता है एंड यू गेट टू कनेक्ट विद अ मेंटर इट्स अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ ऑल सॉर अच्छा अगर आपको अच्छा बोलना है तो डेफिनेटली यू नो यूल हैव टू वॉच अ लॉट एंड यूल हैव टू रीड अ लॉट हाँ यस रिशन ओके सो डोंट फोगेट गाइज जल्दी से सब्सक्रिप्शन लो डोंट फोगेट टू अप्लाई द कोड रितु एम बी ए अन अकेडमी नोट इफ यू टेक द प्लस सब्सक्रिप्शन यू गेट डिजिटल नोट इफ यू टेक द आइकॉनिक सब्सक्रिप्शन यू गेट फिजिकल नोट इज वेल इट्स अ कॉम्प्रीहेंसिव सेट ऑफ एट बुक्स विथ नो विथ कॉन्सेप्ट इज वेल एज फाइव थाउजेंड प्लस प्रैक्टिस क्वेश्चन ओके विल कंटिन्यू इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास गाइज एंड दीज आर द कैट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू टॉपर्स glad to see familiar faces and i hope your faces on the wall next year okay guys don't forget to join the telegram channel and be a part of tomorrow's special class at 11 am okay uh, tomorrow rishab after we do it in class i will share it tomorrow additional questions thank you everyone take care because you'll have to watch and you'll have to practice that is very important Uh, just uh, reach out to me directly, Priya. I'll add you. Yeah, today's special class. I'll post the link. So, on the link, you click on it. You can directly join. So, whatever interests you, Pavan. You can watch interviews. You can watch movies. You can watch TV shows. You can watch the news. Whatever interests you. You'll have to, uh, yeah, because practice chahiye, speaking clear. Don't don't just reading. Watching is important. Watch se bo zada confidence aega. Okay. Thank you guys. See you everyone. See you all soon. Take care everyone. Have a good night. Thank you.